What's up guys, I do Ice Help here, and today in this video, I wanted to show you guys a full walkthrough of some of the new features available for the Messages application in iOS 10. Now the app has been entirely redesigned and a bunch of new features have been added, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that's new. Let's begin. Now once you select the contact, the first thing I wanna talk about is the I there next to the person's name. Once you tap into there, you have a few options here where you can call, FaceTime or message. You can also share your current location or just simply share my location at any particular moment. Do not disturb. If you turn on do not disturb, you won't be receiving notifications. You'll still get the messages, but you won't get notifications from that particular contact. Very useful for group chats. Now also down here, you can turn this on to allow that person to know if you've read their message. So you can set this to individual contacts. With iOS 9, it was only available for all. So if you turned it on, everybody would know if you read their messages. Here with iOS 10, you can toggle that on and only that person will know if you read their messages or not. Down here you have images that you've shared and also attachments with that contact. So go ahead and take a look here at this new options that you have when you tap on this arrow. You have the cameras option now within the cameras option if you swipe all the way to the left you have the camera button which allows you to choose from stills or video so whatever you choose beforehand that's what's going to happen on this little section here so once you start it'll be taking a picture or you can go ahead and set that to video and it'll be capturing a video you can also choose a photo from your camera roll and if you swipe to the right you find all your images now when you go to send an image in iOS 10 you have an entirely new user interface so let's say I want to send this image here see this blue button right there if I tap and hold on that button I get some new options as you can see there I get this slam loud gentle and invisible ink a new option that Apple calls invisible ink so slam just shows an animation of slam just like that then you have the loud and then you have the gentle and the invisible ink. So as you can see there, you can barely see the photo. So if I decide to choose that option, I can just simply send it by tapping on the arrow right there. If I can just simply tap it, there it is. And now once that person receives that photo, they won't be able to see the photo until they swipe on the photo to reveal what's underneath. Just like that, let me show you that again. Just like that. Now let's say I wanna choose another photo here and another effect, I can go ahead and choose the slam and let's say I want to send that, I can send it, and once that person received that message, again, the same animation is going to play on their device, showing that slam. Now, also photos, when you tap to select, you can also choose the blue arrow one more time, and you see the screen effects right there. Now, this will give you, like, happy birthday balloons. You also have, if you swipe from left to right, you also have confetti, lasers, and some other cool animations, fireworks, a bunch of new options here Apple is now offering with this full screen option if you send that of course that person is going to get that cool effect just like that and there it is anyway so now let me go ahead and choose a photo now you can also tap on a particular photo that you're sending to edit so right here if you tap on edit you get all your elements that you get in your camera's application or your photo's application to edit your photo with filters, adjust the size, and so on. Now you also have the option right here, a new option that's called makeup. So this one here, if you tap onto there, you can actually draw on the image and choose different colors. And you can also highlight a particular section of an image and go ahead and slide just like that to highlight. Or you can add any text and also adjust the text where you want to put it. And you can also change the color of the text and the size by tapping here you can change the size and the font of the text you can see here's the new fonts you can go ahead and make it a little bigger just like that drag it over here go ahead and drag it here and let me go ahead and tap here one more time and make the size of the text bigger or smaller change the color very cool very cool stuff now you also have the ability to send an actual signature so you can actually write an entire signature and send it along with that image if you wish to do so with iOS 10 and once you're done you can click save once you click save done and you can send that just like so now let's go back here and show you the second option available here the heart now you have on this left side different colors where you can go ahead and draw in the center section with different sketches just like that and again you can choose any color to draw those sketches and the animations show up on the other device as well and you can go ahead and go full screen by tapping on the bottom right this will bring the sketch uh, even bigger so you have more uh, a state or size here on this screen to draw so you can draw bigger sketches or easier to draw you can send them by tapping on send and this very awesome options on the right as you can see it gives you instructions if you just scribble you can just send any sketch 
if you tap and hold with two fingers, you can actually send your heart rate, just like that, tapping and holding. So you can see there my heart rate, and now it's gonna send the heart rate just like that. Again, animations go through. Now you can also send your pulse by tapping and holding with that particular section there. Now if you tap on these three icons, you get a new set of options. If you double tap with two fingers, you can send kisses, just like that. So you can see I'm sending kisses. Now if you swipe down with two fingers, there's a broken heart. I can send a heart and then slide down. And you can see the animations of broken hearts show up on the other end as well. The instructions are right here on the bottom right, so very easy to use. And you can also send your pause just like that as well with that particular option. Now again, you can go full screen by tapping here and then you can just kind of send your heart just like that and go back to minimize it just like so. Now let's go into the third tab available here that has the App Store icon. Now this section here gives you a few buttons on the bottom. Right here you'll find your recent. I don't have any recents. I can go ahead and swipe to the right and send uh, GIFs, little animations. I can go ahead and send those, tap and edit those as well if I choose to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and send just a regular GIF there. And I can go back into this particular section and continue browsing. Now a very cool thing here is that you can go ahead and tap the search bar and say you type a word like happy. So it'll give you the happy emojis or the happy gifts there that you can choose from. It pulls them from the web and you can choose any of these right then and there without leaving the application. We swipe one more time. You can share any recent music you were listening to. Swipe one more time and you have these cool uh, old style emojis for the Mac or elements of the Mac. Now on the bottom left corner you have apps that you can add or developers can add extensions from their application so you can use the messages application to message anyone from any other messaging service. So let's say you use WhatsApp instead of iMessage you can add it to this list if the developer updates the app and you can choose to use the messages app to use any other messages service instead of the messages service for iOS. Now, after you send all that stuff through the Messages application, you're probably wondering it's gonna take a lot of space from your device. Well, inside the settings extension for the Messages application, you have a few options you can configure right here. Message history, you can have it delete messages every 30 days so you don't have to delete them yourself. You also have audio messages can be deleted every two minutes or never. You also have the option down here to see the video options to delete within two minutes or never as well. So you don't have to go back and delete those so your device doesn't get filled with a lot of junk so quickly from your messages application. So that's also welcome. And there you guys have it. This was just a video showing you guys the capabilities of the new messages applications for iOS 10. Make sure you click that like button if you enjoy the content. Much more coming your way. Stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.